tips on the second part of this uh, online discussion. Now you're going to be assigned today, uh, tonight, so tomorrow morning you'll see your assignment who you're supposed to be doing reviews of. So when you're looking at the problems, I'd like you to think about what really makes a problem something that would be an entrepreneurial opportunity. And if you didn't figure that out when I taught, asked you to think about problems, then you're not looking far enough into the future. You're going to build your entrepreneurial vision. So you want to see that problems are opportunities. And typically problems are based on things like lack of time, lack of money, lack of access, lack of skill, lack of convenience. Anytime somebody lacks something, it's an opportunity for an entrepreneur to be able to help provide them that and exchange value for money. So uh, as you go through this, you're going to give feedback to everyone. When you're giving that feedback, think about the entrepreneurial activities related to that. Again, we're not yet talking about the solutions, just the problem itself. Um, and you should also be looking for problems you might be interested in. So start by trying to answer some of or each of these questions, right, uh, with respect to the problems you see. Uh, X should be easier. I shouldn't have to do X to get to Y. X should be less expensive. There aren't enough Xs. You can only get X by having Y. There are lots of problems associated with X. Whatever those problems are, um, whatever those issues are, right, start thinking about what kind of opportunities they create from an entrepreneur. Now, as you're thinking about your problems that you're going to look work on your team for this semester, this is the beginning of trying to find your, your team project effectively, um, you can also think about uh, other kinds of things. So some people's problems might not actually be as much of a problem, but really based on an existing idea. So. Um, an extra feature that you could provide that similar products do not. That's sort of the lack of something within an existing product. It doesn't have to be starting from scratch. Uh, convenience or efficiency that is new. Those are always ways of improving things. Um, and some of the problems students mentioned will be in that category. Um, you may also be able to develop something that's completely new. An opportunity has not yet been tapped or a clever idea that has potential to catch on and capture people's attention and wallets. Um, the, the latter category is really things that are almost solutions in search of a problem. They're a little bit trickier because you have to make sure there really is a problem and a need there to capture people's attentions and wallets. But um, So as you analyze people's problems in this second part of the, the discussion, think about how, what are the opportunities? How big is the problem? What else might they be able to do?